Okay, so I keep getting phone calls and it stops the the video. So um, while I came up one route and it took me about an hour and 15 minutes, I have mapped it out and the way home is much less, much less. I said it was 45 minutes um, from the lot to my front door, which is in probably the middle of Fayetteville. Um, so this is uh, not near as uh, lengthy as the first length of my trip. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that you are aware of what the drive is like, um, giving you the best experience I can with you being out on the West Coast.
to our this side. That's all for Bragg. Fort Bragg is a huge, huge base. I do believe it is actually the largest per acre military base in North America. since I can remember and um, they've made much headway okay real quick we are now leaving Moore County and going into Cumberland um, so back to 295 uh, they've made much headway and from I-95 to Ramsey Street is complete they now are finishing up the Ramsey Street to Bragg Boulevard section the desire is to be able to cut off the traffic that would drive through the main road of Bragg Boulevard through for, through the post. Um, it'll be diverted using I-295 um, just mainly for safety reasons and to be able to make Fort Bragg more of its own little mm, island, I suppose would be a good word. It'll be interesting to see how all of that works. As a native of the area, this is something that we have heard about for years and years. And, um, you know, it's yet to come to fruition. Granted, you don't have the opportunity to have that main highway yet. Um, so it would not make much sense to cut it off um, until that is open. It'll also be interesting to see how that's going to work because as you come out of where we are right now um, to Bragg Boulevard, that is before where they're cutting off post. And when we get to Bragg Boulevard, if you were to take a left that takes you into Harnett County, Harnett County has a tremendous number of subdivisions and many, many, many families that live up there that actually commute into, whether it's coming into Post or into Fayetteville um, for for work, it's a, it's a pretty big commute, it's a pretty big um, number of people that are commuting in and out of that area. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the new highway is going to be able to handle that. certainly hope is if you are truly watching all of this that you're not bored um, it's it's a new area and I just want to make sure that you see all of it as you're coming in um, what you do see a lot of of course is pine trees um, we are known for the pines that we have in this area and um, 
hints Southern Pines, Pinehurst. Um, they stay green all year long. So we don't have as beautiful of the change of colors in the fall as many other places do. But don't fret because the mountains are not far away um, from the Fayetteville, Fort Bragg area. It's probably, you can get to the mountains in three and a half, four hours and really experience some beautiful, beautiful trees changing color. Um, other side of that is, is that we also have the beaches. Our beaches are much different from the beaches on the West Coast, so um, it'll be exciting for you guys to be able to experience that. Not sure if you've been to the Atlantic beaches before, uh, but the water's very warm. Lots of shark attacks in the past couple of years, and many people say that's because the water is so warm and um, the sharks are um, enjoying the warmth of the of the waters uh, so sand is also very different it's a lot it's a lot finer than what my understanding of the west coast sand is um, so and the beaches are about two hours away so definitely easy day trips not a problem um, the dogs would love it uh, there is a couple really good state parks in the area. There's one called Raven Rock and some great opportunities for um, pretty easy hiking. Um, it is, it runs along the Cape Fear River and there's uh, a, a stream that runs through it. So, you know, it's, it's fun. Then there is Carver's Creek, which is, I think, here on Post somewhere. Post has a couple of different lakes. I think there's Texas Lake and Smith Lake. Um, I think Smith Lake you can go swimming. I'm not 100% sure. One of the two. Um, fishing. You probably have to get the fishing license, but I don't think that those are too terribly expensive. Um, they usually last for a year. We would definitely need to check with that before we get you out there. Don't want an MP to come get you for fishing somewhere you're not supposed to. And if you are still watching this video, you are about 14 minutes in and I am just super proud to say that you have just stuck with it. Um, you know, I can only imagine how boring it is on your side. 